everyone, it's Mio here today and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little figurine here. If you watch part one of my video, I showed you how to make these cute little figurines and put them in the Jelly World Aquarium. In this video, it's going to be part two I'm going to show you how to make the cute little bears holding the balloons. If you want to know how to make the clouds that they're sitting on or floating in, do check out my first video. I'll provide a link in the down bar so that you can check that out. But this video focuses mostly on creating the bears, the balloons, and how I piece this figurine together. I really love how this figurine turned out. If you don't want to put it in the Jelly World Aquarium, you can actually put it on your desk or gift it as a friend to a gift. It's super cute and I think it's just adorable for springtime. If you'd like more tutorials like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on social media. My Instagram account is Flying Mio. It has different crafts that I've created. And if you want more updates about my personal life, you can check out my personal Instagram account. It is called Keep Blushing. It has more photos of things that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and sometimes a few crafts as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. I'm going to start by making the bear and you're going to need some brown female clay and roll it into a small little oval shape as you see here and this is going to be the head of my teddy bear. For the ears I'm taking two little semicircles. What I really did is took a circle, cut it in half and put it on two sides to form the ears and I'm taking a little tool here to help smooth out the edges and really blend the ears and the head together. For the snout, I'm taking a darker piece of brown clay, I'm rolling it into a tiny little oval and flattening it on the front lower part of the face. I really wanted to make it centered and focusing mostly on the lower part and just kind of flatten it out. To complete the nose, I'm taking a tiny piece of brown clay and I'm actually placing it on the upper center of the nose and flattening out. I wanted the eyes to be very spaced apart and very close to the nose so it gives the bear a really, really cute little looking face. And so to help me locate where I'm going to put the eyes, I kind of put two little small dents where I'm going to put the tiny little back pieces of clay in. This hardest part of creating the bear is actually creating the mouth. I took a black piece of clay, rolled it into a very, very thin snake, and you want it to be as thin as possible and cut off three small little pieces and kind of shaped it into like a peace sign. I centered this right underneath the nose and made sure that the pieces were as even as possible so it looked really clean and professional. Once you're happy with how everything looks, I'm going to add some blush to the bear's cheeks. I'm taking some actual pink eyeshadow and gently touching it underneath the eyes where the cheeks of the bear belong. For the body of the bear, I'm using a smaller piece of clay and I kind of rolled it into a slight teardot shape. And for the arms and legs, I took some brown clay, rolled it to a long thin snake and gently tucked them on the top part of the body and the bottom part of the body to form the arms and legs. Of course, I used a clay tool here to help smooth out all the edges. For me personally, I wanted the legs to be shorter than the arms because I think it made the bear look a little stubby and cuter, but you can make the legs longer if you want. To finish the bear, all you have to do is tack on the body to the head. I would just be very gentle. If you're having difficulty sticking the two, you can put a metal piece um, in between to hold the two pieces together. But for me, I just used a tool here to just blend the two pieces together. So that's how I made the bear. Let's go ahead and show you how I made the balloon. So for the balloons, you're going to take different colored pastel clay and roll it into a small ball and flatten them out to a little disc shape. Now the balloon I wanted was those metallic foil balloons instead of latex balloons. So to make it look like the metallic balloon, I took a clay tool and form a line down the edge of the balloon all the way through and kind of flatten out and smooth the line. And then I switched my clay tool around and put perpendicular lines so it looks like air is kind of inflating and over, I don't know, over bursting I guess or just really filling out the foil balloon. Then I tacked on a small piece of round clay on one edge and it's supposed to look like the extra balloon piece that you tie the string on. Now for the actual string, I'm not using string, I'm actually using a wire metal piece here. You can get this from the jewelry aisle section of your craft store and I placed this into my balloon and that's going to form the metal wire. Now I used uh, a metal wire instead of a string because it will hold the balloon up straight this way. So this is what my bear looks like and my balloon looks like. In the other hand of my bear, I actually wanted it to hold a tiny little heart. So to make a heart, I just took a small piece of pink clay, rolled into a circle, and put my clay tool in one edge down the center of the circle. It will form like a little divot and then pinch the other side to form a triangle edge on the other side. And that's how I made the little heart and bake all of your pieces in the oven for at least 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and all of your clay pieces should come out really hard and ready to use and put together. Now, there's no right or wrong way to put all your pieces together. I use clear UV resin here, so I just dipped it in clear UV resin, positioned the pieces where I wanted it to be, and used a UV resin light to harden that resin and keep it in place. Now, again, if you want to know how I created these little clouds, you need to look in the first video. Um, but once you have your cloud and your bare pieces, you kind of position them wherever you want on the cloud and just create your little figurine however you want it to. Um, I'm just using clear UV resin here because I actually use these pieces for something else and now I'm creating the figurine together. Now if you wanted to put all the pieces together first and then bake them together, you absolutely can. So that guys is pretty much how I created this really adorable figurine with bears holding balloons and floating away in the clouds. I think this makes a perfect gift for a friend or family member and it's a perfect decorative piece for your home or desk or anywhere really that you want to put it. I love the spring color so I think these colorful balloons are perfect for spring but you can change it up and make it yours completely however you want. If you like more videos like these please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and for those who already subscribed thank you so much for following me. Now if you want more frequent updates you can check out my social media website. My Instagram account Flying Mio is my crafting account. It has pictures of previous crafts that I created and more pictures of things that are to come. If you want a little more frequent updates you can check out my personal account. It's called Keep Flushing. It has videos of my day to day life and a few things that I've also created here and there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys soon. Happy crafting!